What's going on people? Welcome to today's video. Hope everyone is good. Hopefully you're ready to. Yes, watch the Georgie boy. I'm so amazing. Your videos are so cool when they're not really that cool, but hopefully you still enjoy it and hopefully you still watch them videos and yeah, I don't know where this is going that bit. I'll probably need to restart this video, but um, I've just made my intro workout. EAAs, creatine, and highly balanced like dextrin with a little bit of squash. I'm also gonna take some pre-workout because I have delts and arms today. I use the Kraken pre-workout and I don't like it. I'll be honest with you guys, it doesn't do nothing for me. Like, when I take a pre-workout, I really wanna get like a buzz from it. I really want it to go, fucking hell, that is, you know what I mean? I'm ready to fuck shit. I'm like, yeah, come on then, I'll start on any cunt. I'll fucking, oh, I've already swore already, for fuck's sake. You know what I mean? Like, you get a pre-workout, you think, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. The focus, everything is there. You feel like on top of the world. This don't do it for me. This is don't do it for me. I've had this, I believe this, this will be my fourth time having it. I double scoop it and everything and it just doesn't do nothing for me. I'm not, I don't take uh, pre-workouts that often, but this, I try it every time and it just doesn't do bits. So let me know if anyone else has had that experience with the Kraken or you think, oh, Kraken's fucking brilliant, man. Oh shit, let me know. Gonna double scoop this. We've got delts and arms. I can do it. I try, I try not to swear in these videos, but it's very, very, very hard to not swear. That is really hard. So so, um, if you can count how many times I swear in this video, you might be able to win this. I might give this away and you can win it. So, uh, take a fucking, oh, there's another one, guess, fuck. Here she is, the good old pussy Bill. I think my goal for next year is to definitely get a new car. Look at the state of this shit. Nice, modern car. I've never been like too bothered about cars and stuff like that. I've, I've just always like, it just gets me from A to B. Like I'm not really bothered if you drive a Ferrari or a fucking Peugeot 107, you know what I mean? But I think next year, the goal for 2019 is for me to buy a new car. I really want a new car. I want a Fiesta. I really want a Fiesta. I think, I, I think I'll get a new car next year for sure. Uh, the dream car for me is Audi S3. I love S3s. Maybe one day. I'll get an A3 first and an S3 hopefully, but the Peugeot 107 will do me. Just to go to the gym and back every day. Do fucking me. Anyway, chatting waffles. Get to the fucking gym. So, pulled up at the old gymnasium. You know, fucking standard routine. Everyone thinks, George, you're boring. Your videos are the same old shit all the time. I know, I do apologise. But I've got nothing going on in my life. Like, nothing really exciting. I need to collab with some, you know, Matt Does Fitness and that. But they'll probably look at my subscribers and think, you've got 10k subscribers. I have 250,000. You're a little twat. I don't want you in my video. Which I can totally understand. But I need to start doing something a little bit different. Something a little bit fun for you guys to think, oh, George is sick guy you know but right now you think oh he's a bit of a twat he trains all the time but yeah he's still small anyway today's workout is going to look like this so we're going to do uh, a shoulder press variation i was going to do dumbbell press but my shoulder my left shoulder when i dumbbell press just feels horrible i don't know why i just feel like I'm, i've got some impingement of some sort so i might stick to a more of a hammer strength based approach then move back to dumbbells at some point we're going to move to a close grip bench press afterwards so my main two compounds are at the beginning of the session we're going to move on to a side raise machine uh, then we're going to move up to an upright row some face pulls, lying cuff raise, and then we're going to superset some arms, so we're going to do some like EZ skull crush, EZ curl, a single arm overhead press, and some 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 sort of bicep movement, fucking hell, some 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 some, bloody can't get my words out, but that is roughly what the workout's going to look like, probably finish off some calves and some abs, and probably go on the tread, treadmill and do like a thousand steps so I can get my total up to about 10k, but that is pretty much how I'm going to do things, I took the pre-workout, and guess what, I ain't feeling shit, you know when you drive into the gym, you're like, fuck yeah, this is good, still ain't felt nothing, so um, I'm going to dash, look, skip right there, See, look, cracking, cracking, cracking. Fuck off. Get out of here. Same principle, all the time. Fucking nuts is in the game. People go to me, do you do this off camera or do you just do it for the camera? I do this all the time. When I'm on my own, I sit and just think, hmm, what am I going to forget about? Just, I try and like, try and just throw shit in the skip, you know what I mean? I think, fuck this, fuck that. I don't want to think about that shit whilst training. I just want to focus on myself. And that's what I, I want you guys to do. Chatting shit, it's two minutes already on this. Fuck me, I have to fucking chop it down after time. Stop swearing, George, as well, because people don't like it. Fucking do it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love my YouTube channel. It's the best YouTube channel out there. It's so not. It's definitely not. Anyway, let's fucking do it. And um, stop swearing, George. All right, so exercise one is the, God, exercise one is the hammer strength shoulder press. Um, ideally, I like to do dumbbell shoulder press, but like I said, I've got some bicep right in there, bicep tendonitis right in there, and it kind of plays up when I do a, a dumbbell kind of ro uh, rotation. So hammer strength is today. Um, I really like this exercise. I think it's a really good exercise, but what a lot of people do is you can load quite a lot of weight of it. So you can put like two or three plates each side. And what a lot of people forget to do 
is actually move, well, actually think about what is actually working uh, the target muscle. So we want to hit the front delts, the side delts within this exercise. So we kind of want to think about what we're using instead of just moving weight from A to B. Yes, you might be able to load four plates each side, but are you actually doing what is need to be done, if that makes any sense. So um, in order for me to kind of feel this exercise, I like to pour in the bottom and they explode up. I think the biggest tip I can give anyone is just to ensure that you are bringing your front delt as close to your ear as possible. So when we're pressing, imagine bringing your front delt as close to this ear as possible. That's my biggest tip. Same principles in regards to warm up. I'll do like one or two set, uh, one or two reps on each uh, warm up set. I'll do about five or six warm up sets, that's for my working weight. Um, and we'll go from there. Ideally, if I can get a spot on to lift up the first one for me, that would be great. But if not, I'll try and do it myself, which is a fucking ball leg. But um, let's see what we can do, man. Uh, two sets, as usual, um, and we'll move on. Very straightforward. One heavy, one back off, and progress. Simple as that. machine close grip bench press for the triceps I've said this what about a hundred times on my channel I think if you can get really strong on your like close grip bench press close grip bench press or dips uh, even like a dip machine variation I think you'll have a nice set of triceps I think the fluffy work the, the tricep press downs the single arm press down shit the overhead presses I think there's a time and place for that but I think you should be nailing the basics like getting stronger at your dips getting stronger at a close grip bench press these compound heavy movements which you can overload and I think if you can get strong like that if you do that for six eight months straight and uh, progress them really fucking well you have a nice set of arms you have a nice set of triceps um, and that's what so many people do they follow what they see on the internet in regards to IFB pros and stuff like that doing 20 sets of tricep press downs there's time and place for that but when it comes to building some dense fucking triceps I'd always recommend doing something very basic like the closer bench press hands down my favorite exercise for the triceps and my triceps my arms are quite good um, um, obviously genetics and stuff like that, but I think if you get stronger that, you have a good set of arms for sure. So I did uh, three sets of the close grip bench press. Again, the biggest tip I'll give you about close grip bench press is actually have it fucking, have your elbows tucked in. So people flare around like this all over the place, have them tucked into your fucking side. Biggest tip. An exercise which not a lot of people do now is the upright row. For obvious reasons, I mean, if you don't have healthy shoulders, if your shoulders are fucking all over the place, I probably wouldn't recommend this exercise. But if your shoulders are healthy, I would recommend this exercise for sure. One of the best trap side delt builders uh, I think out there. I mean, if you can get strong as fuck on a compound movement like this, like the upright row, you have a nice set of, I keep saying it, but it's, it's very true. I mean, if you can get progressively stronger with perfect execution, you have a nice set of whatever it is, simple as that. But yeah, very good exercise for the upright row. Again, I mean, if you don't have heavy shoulders, probably wouldn't recommend it. But you can do it with dumbbells, you can do it with a fucking cable, you can do it with EZ bar, straight bar, dumbbells, whatever. Uh, give it a go, but fuck me. Very good exercise.
So we did our three compounds. We did the um, Hammersham shoulder press. We did the close grip bench press. Then we did the upright row. Um, three, two, one, two sets on the first movement, three sets on the second movement, and three sets on the third movement. Then we move on to our fluffier movement, so we moved on to um, a seated uh, side raise machine. Again, I, I, I take away the loading and just focus on the side delts, because I mean, you can lose a lot of momentum with traps when it comes to side delts, especially uh, side, just swinging weight from A to B. Again, I don't mind doing that a little bit here and there, but when I really want to focus on isolating my side, side delts, I'll, I'll reduce the loading and I'll just focus on just actually moving and what is actually moving the weight. We then moved on to a, a face ball, but I'm doing it seated compared to standing up. And the reason behind that is someone said on Instagram the other day is that you use quite a lot of momentum and you use a lot of weight. The, the, the amount of weight that you put on your back heel just to actually move that weight, if you know what I mean, and uh, allow you to be in that position is incredibly high. So what I did is I have to reduce the load and I sit down and all I'm thinking about is what is actually moving the muscles. And uh, although you're gonna get a little bit of traps, a little bit of rear delts in it as well, um, I think it's a, it's a really good exercise for just, I've seen someone talk about it once and it's just like overall kind of shoulder health, if you know what I mean. Um, and I've given it, oh, I quite like them, I quite like them. Again, I'll rotate between like a reverse pet deck, cable reverse flies or dumbbell reverse fly. But face pulls I think are, are a really good overall, overall kind of shoulder health ben benefit to them. Does that make any sense? I keep sitting in the floor, on the floor within this session. I don't know why I'm just sitting on the floor all the time. Probably because I'm just feel like a fucking homeless tram. I dress in the same shit anyway, so I might as fucking well be. Um, arms now. I think arms work very well in regards to volume. Um, I don't obviously do too much volume. I do about, I'd say about 16 sets a week of arms. EZ Skull Crush is one of my favorite exercises when it comes to building some fucking decent triceps. As well as, like I said, you need to be getting strong on the compound movements as well. Don't be just doing fucking skull crushes and fucking press downs and expecting to see a, a change in your arms, because it's not gonna happen. You need to be getting stronger on your compounds as well. Um, I've always said, you've never se I've never seen anyone um, who can dip like 100 kilos between their legs and have tiny arms. You just don't see that shit. So, um, just something to consider. A very good exercise. <laughs> I sincerely hope you uh, have enjoyed enjoyed this some sort of a, a video again I always think they're shit these videos um, but if it's helped you out if you're gonna give the workout a go the workout is down below um, I've read it out there nicely for you any questions regarding that let me know on Instagram stuff like that or if you don't want to follow me on there because you don't give a fuck about me or whatever if you don't have Instagram who knows comment down below and I'll simply answer it comment down below hat if you've watched the whole thing, this is the usual hat. This is the hat I always fucking wear. If anyone wants to send me a hat for Christmas, that'd be great. I'd appreciate that. Anyway, chatting waffle, and uh, I'll speak to you in a biz with my friends. See you in a bit.